Welcome everyone to Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler, a game released for the Game Boy Advance way back in 2004, I believe. Oh my gosh, so, as far as, um, as far as these games go, or, uh, these? I meant this game, what the hell am I talking about? Oh my god, what a great start. As far as this game goes, I will just go ahead and tell you right now, it is one of the oddest Yu-Gi-Oh games ever. Um, it's simply, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start with this. It's not a typical Yu-Gi-Oh game of, you know, dueling with cards. Um, it's not anything like Dungeon Dice Monsters or Duels of the Roses or Capture Monster Colosseum or anything like that, or even like RPG elements like, like you know, like Fall Strong Kingdom. No, it's not like that at all. And hell, I mean, even Wheelie Breakers is pretty freaking weird because it's a Yu-Gi-Oh racing game, but and yeah, I would probably say that one is the second weirdest Yu-Gi-Oh! game ever, but this one is by far the weirdest. Let me show you why, but before that, let me go ahead and, um, you know, reset, there we go. Erase, save the- how the fuck do you- oh, there we go. Uh, yes. Wait, that's it? What? What the f- What is going on? Save data will be erased, okay? I'm pressing yes? Okay, let's hope that it got, it got erased. I have no freaking clue if it did. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. One player. You can play with up to, up to four players in this game. Yeah, but anyway, uh, this game has no like regular campaign slash story mode. It's honestly just playing a bunch of boards, and that's it. Um, so basically, there's all these characters. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 characters in this game, um, and each one has a unique power. First of all, it's already kind of difficult to see that white text on that teal freaking brick background. But basically, Yugi's superpower says other monsters will have a change of heart. Okay, uh, Rebecca says all what a oh, warp war oh my god I, I can't read that shit a oh, warp all players to new locations in duels I'll bounce damage back to my opponent that's Pegasus so that's a hitting character I'll talk about hitting characters later uh, master will help me in a duel what the fuck is that supposed to mean hidden 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 Mokuba says I'll take a card from every player and add them to my hand Mai says um Aroma Tactics reveal all face down cards. Kaiba says destroy all cards with attack 1500 plus in other players' hands. And Joey can reroll summon dice once. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with Yugi. That makes the most sense. What I'm gonna do, because this game is not just like an adventure game and you get it through, but I do want to show off this game, you know, with them as many different characters as possible. My plan here is to basically like use one character per video, but I kind of want to see like how long it's going to take. Also, how do you... What the f... Hold on. No! No, no, I didn't mean to do... Oh. My. I'll just tell you right now, this game is very stubborn in terms of the controls and shit. You know? I can't go back anymore. I literally can't go back. Um, I, I fucked it up. I think I picked... Oh my god. Anyway, then you get to choose... It's actually the same. What in the world is going on? Alright, I'm gonna go with this here. Alright, you can set your map as well. There's like Domino Park. I thought there were a few more, but... Whatever. Set map. So gonna go with that. You win when you get the following number of victory stars. Um, so you can go as little as... Honestly, one. You can go as many as... I'm not even sure. What's the max number you can go for? I'm assuming it's 99. I'm not even gonna try it, but... Okay, um, I'm gonna go for 10 and see just how long it actually takes to get to 10 here. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to explain in this game and it's not gonna make any fucking sense. I'll just tell you right now, if you've never played this game, you are gonna be so lost. I'll do my best to try to explain how in the world this works, but let me just tell you, it's not gonna be easy. Here we go. Summon monsters and get at least 10 stars to win. When the light points of three other players reach zero, a winner will be determined. Okay. It's Pegasus's turn. Sweet. Pegasus can use a superpower. Your can't hurt me. So I think he can bounce back. Damage. Okay. He will redirect damage. 
So basically, every, every single turn, the way this game works, because right now it's Pegasus' turn, so it's the AI doing all of this. Every turn you get to roll a die. One of the really shitty things is that you actually don't get to see the die that your opponent, um, ro that any of your opponents roll, but they do have it. You get to see your own die once it becomes your turn. Uh, but depending on the die, it'll actually indicate how many steps you're gonna be going forward. And then you might get into a battle or you might land in another space that's not a battle. If you get into a battle, you basically, um, you have to attack or you, you have to fight that monster. And depending on what happens, basically you go stats versus stats and then each side gets a die roll as well. And depending on what happens, you either get a star or you don't get shit. Like Pegasus just didn't get shit right now, he really didn't. Alright, so now it's Dark Magician Girl. Okay. So watch this now. So Dark Magician Girl um, has nothing because the die that she had was actually a tribute monster. Oh my god, game. Thank you for giving me the most complicated fucking rolls right now. It's, like, oh my god, game. Do you realize how confused most of my fan base is right now watching this video? Oh my gosh, because I, I can do my best to explain shit, but there's some things that, oh my god, no amount of explaining is going to help help you out here because this is one of the weirdest games. You want to know what the weirdest thing ever is here? The fact that this game has literally no tutorial. Think about this. You bought this fucking game back in 2004, like, hell yeah, let's launch it up on my Game Boy Advance. And then it just happens. This. You're like, what in the world is going on? You wouldn't know what the hell is going on in this game because there's no explanation at all. The game makes zero attempt to explain. Like, what the heck? It's Creeps' this turn. Cabochos attack position. Alright, so they're gonna attack. It's Wicked Worm Bees versus Ancient Jar. Cabo rolls a miss. And Ancient Jar rolled a miss. So now they're gonna battle. Kaiba wins. And he defeated Ancient Jar. So, he gains. He gains three. He gains three stars because that's the level of his Wicked Worm Beast. Alright, it's finally my turn. Oh my god. So here's what you do in your turn. Basically, you can set stuff on dice. You can also view space. Like, you can go around here and view all the stuff here to see what's on each space. So that's my, that's my own space. Uh, there's monsters hidden on these three. That's another space. You get to recover life points. There's monsters hidden. We already know that's a dark plant that Pegasus failed to defeat. Uh, more stuff here. Special zone. That's another dark plant over there. Alright, so obviously I'm not going to do that. The other options are you can view the map. Like, that's more free mode. It's pretty cool and cute how, you, how they do this over here, as you can see. Look at that. That's nice, right? And then you can also see large map. Wait, what? I don't remember this fucking option. Okay, but you can't do anything here. All you can do is just see the victory. <clears throat> 10 stars. And you can also, the main thing you're going to be doing is setting die. So you go set on dice. And here's your cards. Basically, every character in the game has different cards. Typically, better higher stats are better, but some cards do also have bonus effects. Um, but with that, what I have to do is create my own die. You basically create your own dice in this game every, uh, every turn. Uh, so, like, if I put, like, let's say, Skull Red Bird... Um, you'll see that there's star face and regular face. Um, the one that you want to roll um, as a priority, you want to put a star face because there's better odds to roll a star face die. So I'm going to put you on star. And everything else, I guess I could put great white, but whatever. Regular face for great white, regular face for a mushroom man. I like to fill it up all the time because even if you are don't get the best thing, like, if you don't fill it up and you get a miss, meaning nothing, there's no monster on there, you just don't move at all. You literally don't move. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. And now if you try to press A, you can only remove from die or you can roll it because you can only have up to six sides. I already set six monsters. You can see the little icon there. Um, if it has the red square in the bottom right corner, like on Skull Red Bird, it's, that means it's star face. And green means it's a regular face. So there's regular, regular, star, none, regular, regular, regular. So, let's roll it. Let's see what I get. I get Kaminari Kazao. That's actually Thunder Kid. Um, it's just that in the old... You know, that monster's already summoned. Yeah, okay. In the old days, it was Kaminari Kazao, but eventually it came over as uh, Thunder Kid. 
All right, so select attack collector. Okay, here's what you do. You have to choose what position. If you put in defense mode, obviously your life points are saved. Um, but you want to go into attack mode to try to destroy the opponent's monster. So I'm going to go into attack. Ooh, that's an amoeba. It's only, it's very low stats. All right, so here we go. So the battle positions are chosen. Now it's time to go ahead and roll the die. So, um, I rolled a miss. Fuck. You rolled a miss, which means I win. It's 700 attack versus your 250 or 350 defense. So I win. Defeated. Went to the graveyard. So I get two stars from this battle because that's the stars of my Kaminari Kazao. So, so far Kaiba's winning. That's all been one turn. So I know it took a long time, but it's because there was a lot of explaining as you kind of saw. This game, it moves fast. It moves insanely fast. And if you don't understand it, it is going to bite you in the ass really fast. That's basically how it works, as you can see. It's it's very odd. It's one of the oddest Yu-Gi-Oh games ever to be released. I really don't understand this. I really don't. Alright, so... How much did I get reduced by? Oh my god. Oh no, no, damn it. Never mind. Alright, so he's still won. And he's going to go out and get two stars now. Yep. So now Pegasus has two. So right now, um, Dark Magician Girl is actually in last place with zero stars. You also don't want to get to zero life points or else you lose. Okay, so she keeps rolling tributes. So she can't get her monsters. That's the thing, typically with tributes, obviously you want to avoid them early on in the game because... In order to summon a five star monster or higher, you have to tribute one of your current star monsters on the board. Which means you actually sacrifice those stars to get more, like, stronger monsters. Which is crazy. 3,500 life points remaining. Yep, so she just took some direct damage there. She is not in a good position right now. Our next up is Kaiba. Alright, Kaiba, let's see. Kaiba is going to go in and battle the same uh, monster that Dark Magician Girl couldn't fight off. It's Mystic Horseman versus Jewels of Dark Demise. Okay, I think he won. Yeah. So Mystic Horseman is actually a level 4 monster. That's going to be plus 4. Kaiba's already at 7. He's already close. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. I have to make my own die. Uh, so this time I got... But yeah, see, as you can see, you, you always draw... You basically draw something new every time when you when you summon whatever it was that you summon, you lose that one and you draw a new one. So now, as you can see, I have these. Um, it's still I'm still gonna go with great. I'm gonna go with great white this time for star because right now I just want stats. Skull servant is pretty shitty, and then roll die. That's what I get. Hopefully, a high attack monster. Yes. I got the best one, the star face. Alright, let's see what I get here. I'm gonna choose attack position, it doesn't make any sense to use defense. Oh my god, that's Yadagarasu? Holy crap. Miss. Okay, we both got miss. Yeah, usually it's a miss, which means nothing gets altered in battle. There we go, creep defeat us, and now I get four stars. I'm at six now. So Kaiba and I are getting up there. We just need... Oh my god, but I think it's Kaiba's turn is going to go next. And if he destroys another monster with at least a level 3 star monster, he actually wins. Alright, Dark Magician Girl got a 1, so she's actually going to get a 1,000 free light points. Oh my god, I'll do what Kaiba gets. Oh. Oh, you got a tribute. Ah, you can't do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Never mind. You are. Okay, so he just tributed a three-star monster. He went back down to four levels now. But now, he's going to go ahead and use... Who's this? What in the world? Oh, my God. 2,400 attack? He won. That's it. Pegasus went down two levels, but doesn't Kaiba get six? Kaiba level raised six. That's it. Kaiba won. Kaiba has won. 
You are lost like the monsters that you are- Wait, did I just say monsters? Sorry, I, amateurs. I, I read the word monster and that's it. You can take it back to the main menu. Isn't that odd, people? Like, isn't that so odd? I find this concept so incredibly odd. Like, I really do. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell- <laughs> Like, okay. Alright, so next time I'm obviously gonna go ahead and um, take on the next- Or use the next character, which I guess I'll go ahead and use Joey next, maybe. I want to show off each of these characters once each. Um, there's obviously all these hidden ones here, but I'll go ahead and you know talk about all these later, of course. But yeah, hopefully you kind of understand the concept there. Again, it's a little odd. This LP might not be for everybody, but if I go with my my whole thing of like one video per like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, it'll be twelve videos long. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.